clap it up. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, bro, clap it up. <laughs> yeah, your boy's back. Your boy, you know, after all of that, just working for two months, two straight months, consistently, like six, seven days a week, man, for about two months straight, just to get this PC, bro, it's just... It's definitely been a crazy journey. I'm not gonna lie, a crazy. There's a fly somewhere, just moving around. Like, get back. I'm trying to record. Why would you? Why would you show up when I'm trying to record? Hello. It's been like a crazy journey ever since I, you know, lost my PC. The things that I've put on the side started to show back, like face front, like you know, because uh, I use my computer to, you know, as a coping mechanism for a lot of things. And since I, like, you know, didn't have my computer, since it broke. And like all of the you know demons that I had to battle with came face value and I had to forcefully fight my demons pretty much or you know fight my th thoughts and handle with depression and things like that because I, I I guess I've definitely been neglecting myself like just for the simple fact you know constantly want to do post a video out you know create videos and things like that I think um it was definitely you know losing the computer was definitely a sign like hey you should stop neglecting yourself neglecting yourself that's unhealthy <laughs> so it definitely showed me like you know you know i gotta look at myself i gotta make sure that i'm good i gotta make sure that i am 100 percent. i gotta make sure that like you know i'm aware of myself because i feel like i didn't i wasn't really aware of myself and my situations and things like that because doing doing what i love to do 100 doing what i'm passionate about but i forgot about myself in general like i i, I love creativity that i that I put creativ creativity over myself. I mean, that shouldn't be the case. And so losing that PC definitely showed me like, hey, like that, that was happening. After the, after the, you know, me working for the two months, it definitely also showed me that, you know, my, my work ethic is crazy because working for like, you know, 10 to 14 hours uh, a day for like six days, sometimes even seven, like I'm continuing on. Like it's insane. Like my work ethic is definitely insane. It's definitely freaking top tier i didn't realize that until you know that's it like you know that situation happened and seeing me that you know not giving up and just continuing continuing to just push and push to come back to this i i put i put like you know out of the blue i put two months in my head because i i felt like i felt like like i felt within my core that i definitely was going to reach that two months like i'm definitely going to reach that two months like no doubt about it if i put like a lot of you know effort and things like that i i will make it in two months so i guess it was definitely a test of like how badly did i want it you feel me like how badly am i willing to do this to, to come back you know this um this month has definitely been like you know that type of month where it's just trials and tribulations like it's testing me it was, i feel like i feel like this year was definitely a test for me in terms of like how badly i wanted to do it how badly you know if i were to deal with all of these situations would i just quit would i just end it there you feel me and yeah the answer is that as you see the answer is like i get through anything i can get through anything just to come back and just do content because this is what i love to do this is what i want to do for the rest of my life like i love this shit this is my passion i love it to the death for me like I, I would not do anything else but sitting on this chair just making content bro and i remember i remember the video of uh cory kenshin um while i was while i was at work yeah Cole kitchen posted a video was like he created himself challenges and that those challenges pushes him to like continue on and i felt like i felt like definitely that that is me as well is that i my work ethic or just myself in general works way better with challenges you know when i see a challenge i my work ethic is tenfold because i feel like um i realize that you know the direction that i want to take you know, I, my mind, w without any challenges, my mind doesn't really know a direction. It only knows, like, you know, I gotta, I just gotta, you know, make this video and things like that. But it doesn't really know a clear direction or a clear goal plan in mind. Cory Kitchen video and him talking about, you know, making himself challenges, you know, overcoming your limits. Stop doubting yourself. Be your best critic and your best supporter. Like, I, yeah, that definitely did felt that, bro. And so, yeah, I, I have been, like, my worst critic and just like a medium medium supporter sometimes i support myself sometimes i don't and i feel like definitely with that video it definitely should like explain to me like hey i should be my best critic i should like you know be like okay now nah, this could go here this could go here but like more of like you know a healthy critic than just a bad critic to myself and definitely be my best supporter because i realized that only like i mostly only have myself and like you're not going to get all the time validation from other people too and you shouldn't get validation from other people because it don't last pretty much so me creating you know me having my validation of myself and just supporting myself in general was like 
Uh, it's infinite, infinite support. It's infinite, like, you know, boost up. It's infinite, I guess, infinite reliability because you'd be like, you know, yeah, you got this or good job, you know, or, you know, man, you did it. You feel me? Like having, having yourself support yourself. It's like, it give, it, I think it creates a lot of like discipline, a lot of like motivational boost towards yourself. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to look for anything else. If you have yourself and you're just constantly supporting yourself, be your biggest supporter, it will, it will stick. It will stick 100%. It will stick with you. Learning, um, learning all of those things definitely has helped me out tremendously. My, I feel like my worth ethic boosts a lot. I feel like I'm definitely more calmer and more happier than it is just me rushing out trying to figure things and me being all, all, all over the place. I feel like I know I have a strategy now. I feel like I have a plan now. I feel like, you know, it's just everything's good. Everything's Gucci. And through all through all the two months or just basically the whole, the whole year, they even scratched that two months. Oh, the whole year. Like, because I've been on and off this whole year. You know, starting off with my new job, me working at my new job. I'm trying to get used to my new job, having, you know, to do tests at my new job and stuff like that. It was kind of, um, I was a word, but marrying or, you know, bombarding because it was just a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot at the time. It was definitely a lot. I had to learn everything. You know, I had to, um, basically focus. I had to basically focus that if I did multiple things, I feel like I would have fallen off. So I just focused on work for the time being mostly. And, you know, lesson content creation, even though I tried my best to post, you know, those couple of videos, it was definitely hard. It was definitely hard, a hard, uh, hard experience. But yeah, I've been, I've been going for like, I say almost a year now. Like it's, it's, I never, I never been going this long. You feel me? Maybe, maybe like my highest before this was like five, five months, four months. I never been going this long, bro. I never been going for like almost a year. I never, I never, this is the first. And it's kind of weird. Part of, a part of me is kind of sad because I want to be consistent like i want to i want to just consistently post i want to consistently just go at it like going like you know i want to consistently post i want to consistently be consistent i want to i want to i want to work i want to just create i just want to create and just make sure that like you know i want to i want to try i want to be the best that i can be consecration because this is something that i love to do and i want to put all of my time into it because this is this is my passion this is what i just you know what i what i cave into and you know for uh, for life you don't know when you don't know if you have a tomorrow or not so i want to make sure that i spend my time mostly with the things that i love to do which is like consecration and so being being without consecration was definitely really hard for me because i'm like yo what, what, what am i supposed to do now you know this is like i feel like i feel like i was i was in a you know in a video game where you just open the door and it starts to loading that's what i felt like when on pc when my pc um you know died you know, I was I was stuck in a loading sequence and you know for the for the two months I had to like work and everything and you know get my tools up and such but I, was, I felt like I was in a loading screen like I had to just wait for two months just to you know come back you know for the game to start and it was definitely it was definitely hard I'm not gonna lie it was definitely hard but it was definitely worth it because through through any hardships like there is a lesson to be learned and I definitely have learned that lesson challenges <laughs> challenges what my challenges is gonna be okay hit five five to ten k on youtube yeah i know you know that's kind of crazy but it, it is reachable because hey saving for the money that i spent saving you know all of that for two months that was that was unreasonable that was like you know crazy that was crazy that, that was like crazy thought but i did it though so it's like yeah that also is a crazy thought 5k and, and like five to ten or 10k in two months that is kind of a crazy thought too but like yeah it, it is accomplishable it is accomplishable and i'm gonna do anything everything anything and everything that i can to make that goal happen you know because i i realize i'm too creative bro i have too many ideas and once i put my ideas to fruition bro it's gonna be yo i can't wait i can't wait bro and you know y'all y'all peep the new camera though that new camera quality uh that new camera quality you feel me three three videos monday monday wednesday friday so may most likely i'm going to get a video tomorrow maybe probably late though because i still got to edit that video i didn't really edit you know anything yet because i'm still getting video you know getting everything set it up and you know situated and such so i didn't really like you know sat down and edit a video but yeah i'm most likely going to get a video tomorrow so it's going to be monday wednesday friday that's what we're gonna do monday wednesday friday i may upload you know four videos i may even upload five videos if that's possible you know so this um i think the what's, what's the word for it you know the regular is three videos but if i could reach four or five i would definitely do four or five extra but yeah you know i'm gonna i'm gonna hit y'all with a surprise like i never do so i'm not gonna say when the fourth or fifth video is gonna is gonna drop so you know just a surprise y'all bro be like oh another upload you feel me yeah i'm gonna make sure you know i upload consistently on the youtube 
make sure i do anything necessary to share to get my to get my content out there and yeah we're gonna we're gonna yo we're gonna try hard we're definitely gonna try hard bro we're gonna try hard bro no cap and yeah i think i think that's about it for now or yeah well another goal will be to be you know to, I, I call this the war the shadow clone worth ethic which is basically like post as if like you know post is like i'm posting everywhere pretty much but i'm also working this like you know this insanely hourly job you feel me so it's gonna be crazy i'm gonna create what i like to call the shadow clone or ethic that's what that's what i'm gonna name it the shadow clone word ethic which means i'm gonna just gonna be posting everywhere non-stop consistently going consistently going consistently pushing out content that's what i'm gonna do it's gonna be quality content don't get me wrong it's definitely gonna be quality content but i'm gonna make sure that like i'm gonna do the best that i can you know with the things that i have and just straight murder it pretty much but yeah your boy is back your boy is here your boy is swell your boy is gucci your boy is alive and i miss you guys i love you guys and i miss you guys bro it's not one day that i haven't thought about you guys through the pc missing through me being all busy and such you know things happen but it's how you handle it you feel me and for me i'm the type of person that will never give up over anything because i just love what i do and this is what i want to do and i'm going to come back each and every time no matter what anyway y'all i think that's about it I love you guys. I miss you guys. We gotta, yo, we gotta, bro. The next video tomorrow, content, of course. You feel me? We're gonna go back to the regular scheduled programming. And as always, I love you guys. And I'm gonna catch y'all later. Deuces. <laughs>